Morning guys. Welcome to Mike Reed Outdoors. God bless you and thank you for watching. In this video, you guys, I'm going to show you how to make a simple fireplace shovel like the old timers used to do it when, when they didn't have anything but a, like a scrap piece of tin to make their shovel out of. Now I've got plenty of shovels. Uh, I make them, most of the time I'll make them out of 14 gauge or 11 gauge. But this right here is just a piece of old locker tin. It's really thin, but they actually do make a good shovel. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Uh, also, I'm going to show you how that they take, that the old timers would take a block of hardwood, if, if they had hardwood, softwood, if they didn't have hardwood, they would make a indentation of the shovel pattern in the piece of wood and actually use that for a swage block. A swage block is a cast block with different types of shapes in it. They can weigh up to 300 pounds or more. They are very expensive. But usually if you buy one, you get a shovel pattern of some type inside, uh, cast inside that block. You also get spoons and different uh, uh, ladles and all kinds of things. You can buy them with different patterns in them. But I'm going to show you how, the, in the beginning of time, this is how they did it. Okay, guys, the overall measurement, the inside of the shovel, you guys, is four and a half by seven and a quarter. We want to add a half an inch all the way around this shovel pattern, and that will give us the, the actual uh, wall of the, the sides of the shovel, the part you're going to turn up right. Now, this is one way of doing that. Just hold All right, you guys. We're going to take a pair of scissors and cut out the overall width of our shovel blade first. And if this didn't have a curve in it, this would be way much more simpler. If I had just uh, chose a pattern that was square, which is most of the time that's how they made them. So I'm going to take a scriber. And I'm going to scribe this pattern. Okay, now that we have that cut out on that tin, you guys, you can see that this part right here just turns up on this, sh on this shovel blade, okay? See how that makes that into a shovel? So what we've got to do, guys, is cut the inside pattern out. Just like this. Okay, guys, there's the pattern on the block. I'll show you what to do with that in a second or two. Okay, so we, let's just go ahead and cut the shovel pattern out. Now you all, the, the, the nastiest part of this particular uh, project right here is you got to take a circular saw and cut this out and then take a chisel and chisel the curves in it. So I'm, I'm going to back the camera up and let you see me start this. You'll notice that I run this all the way through right here, because that you don't you don't have to worry about the end of it at all for lengthwise. Not on that simple little project right there. All right, guys, there's the pattern shape cut down into your piece of wood. I actually took the that uh, saw blade on that saw, you guys, and actually made that curve right there. 
pretty, pretty simple, pretty easy. Now, of course, all, all we're going to do, you guys, is take a hammer, and we're going to gently hammer this piece of metal down into this block. But I'll get it set up over here so you can see it a, a little bit closer, you guys. All right, you guys. Make sure you draw the outside dimension of your pattern so that you can, in the beginning, you can hold your piece of steel, piece of metal, right in the exact spot. So make sure you take your measurements first, then place it down on there and hold it right on those dimensions. And we'll start. So simply doing that number right there. Okay guys, there's our fire shovel. Looks pretty good. Always cut your corners off, you guys, so they're not sharp. Just cut them off just like that right there. Are right, you guys, guys, here is our 18-inch handle that we're going to forge out there in the forge. I've got a drill bit here. The same size as that is, you guys. And here's what we're going to do right in the center. What we got to do first is upset the end of it. You see it's gotten thicker on the end there, you guys. And that's what you do. And when you... You guys, check this out. That's how you do it, right there. Now we can just take our hammer and sort of cold forge this right down where it goes. Guys, that'll shovel coal right now. There. You guys, I'm going to make a simple floor on this. Handle right here so we can do a, another jump weld. There, there it is, you guys. Now, you see how I jump welded that handle on there and made that T? And I just did that, guys, so I could hang it on the wall. Just like that right there. 
you can make any, you know, after you stick it through there, you can make any shape handle you want on this end of it. But I like to practice a weld every time I build my fire. That way I'm in tune with welding. If you don't, a lot of times you'll just get frustrated and, and even quit trying. So, hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. In the Appalachian Mountains, even now, guys, we have to, to learn how to do things ourselves. There ain't no question about it. So, that right there is an ash shovel that we made from scratch today, you guys. Once again, God bless you. Have a great day. guys god bless all of you and welcome to my creed outdoors in this video you're going to see my friend jack hi everybody uh that has come up here to see me this today and his he wanted a tomahawk so i let him forge one out show him the tomahawk there jack and uh he did a really good job on it the forge weld come out really good and that was his first try his first time he actually turned the handle down and he did an excellent job on the handle yeah. so hi I'm Jack Brandt and I was fortunate enough to come meet Mike Reed today and uh, with his help I was able to build a tomahawk here and uh, do some forge welding and grinding and building a handle.